Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's rainy reading the red. Wow, what a rainy day. Uh, Matthew 22, verse 30, uh, into the second verse of this challenge regarding whether or not there is a resurrection from the Sadducees. And Jesus begins to explain to them. And he says these words in verse 30. For in the resurrection, they are neither married nor are given in marriage but are like an angel in heaven. So in the resurrection, they neither marry. In this verse, Jesus has given to us an incredible revelational truth about the eternal place. And what he's saying in effect is life there after the resurrection is not going to be as it's been here. Uh, when God made this world, he created it and we've lived in the reality of this expression of life. He's saying here to the Sadducees in his defence as it relates to there being a resurrection, he shows an insight into what it's going to be like there. And he says it might be that this guy, this woman has married seven brothers, but she's not going to marry any of them in the resurrection because there'll be a different sense of reality that relates to that place that's different from here. And that's why it's so important for us to embrace the reality of this life now in every facet that we can, but to do it God's way, because God has given to us an opportunity to have an incredible life here on earth with him, surrounded by all of those people who God has given to us, our wives, our husbands, our children, all of the blessings that God has poured out upon us. The, the, work, the world, the rain, the sun, uh, the, this incredible creation. Because this world is for now in this reality. And then when heaven beyond the grave comes, we will enter into that reality. But it's not going to be like this reality. And, uh, you know, many people live in a delusion of what heaven's going to be like, almost like an extension of this place. It isn't going to be like that. We're not going to be married to our wives or to our husbands. We're going to know each other. We're going to be with each other, those who are in Christ. But the reality of eternity after death is not going to be like this. So this verse really explains to us something that Jesus reveals regarding <clears throat> what heaven is like. And he says, we are neither marry or given in marriage, but we'll be like the angels who are in heaven. And angels are spirits. They're not got bodies in the same way that we got bodies. They are different from this substance. You know, we are a spiritual being. We have a soul and we live in a body. Our soul is our mind, emotions and our will. Our body is this physiological reality. And our spirit is what relates us to God. And when we die and this body is gone or done away with, buried, finished, and we live in that reality of the spiritual realm, all this is going to be different from all that. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Be blessed. Stay dry and I'll see you tomorrow.